How can open data from the EU institutions, agencies, and bodies be opened up for further reuse? What problems are there in creating sustainable open data business models? How can we better work with the open data community to identify problems and propose solutions? How can the EU Open Data Portal help? EU Datathon 2017 was organised to address many of these questions in a one-day event in Brussels on the 16th of November. This was also the culmination of a competition that started in September. Contestants had to create applications to address specific policy or societal issues in line with three key priorities for the European Union. Jobs, growth and investment, the digital single market and democratic change. They also had to use at least one data set from the EU Open Data Portal, which gives central access to open data made available by the EU institutions, agencies and bodies. From 34 highly promising proposals, 10 finalists were invited to present their projects to the audience and jury. The jury comprised data and information professionals from both private and public sectors. There were also two panels with discussions on key topics, one on the sustainability of open data business models and the other on strengthening the culture of open data. To think in terms of quality, in terms of timeliness. And this is also driven by the demand and um, my message is that teams should work on and try and find a way how to uh, address the general public to what they are doing. And we discovered that our data sets are not used only for scientific purposes and only for, uh, let's say, specific domains, but also for other purposes, for other institutions, like, for example, <laughs> NGOs, international institutions, and also private companies. In those business models, what we're noticing is that Half of these companies are going to end up selling software as a service. So we're talking about software that cleans up data, that aggregates it with specific data the companies do have. They give these small leads. They lead you into the data with the first analysis and the first visualizations that they have done. I'm rather eccentric about when you ask the reusers what this is what you need, and they tell you something. When they actually reuse, they need something different. There is a strong difference in between what you expect to need and what you actually need. Who won first prize? This solution generates intelligence about the EU market for the benefit of the public sector, companies and the citizens using data science. C4P IO. The application uh, aims to generate intelligence about how the national and the European public sector produces and spends their money. So we want to build this knowledge and offer it to the public sector, to the companies and to the EU citizens. They are an excellent example how uh, transparency uh, based on open data can create value for um, European SMEs because uh, with the help of this kind of a solution you can actually explore how the European Union funds are used uh, for the public tenders and based on this information you can estimate uh, where, is, where is business for you in Europe. What are the takeaways of EU Datathon 2017? We had a good jury, a good mix of EU officials and uh, also people from the industry and journalists, which made for a very good discussion. We had different angles on the different um, applications, and in the end uh, it was a very clear winner. What really impressed me was how the candidates um, for the, the different apps and the different services really thought about reusing and sharing and thought about the wider ecosystem than themselves and that really surprised me. I was very much impressed with the quality of, of the submissions. Um, you know the EU Open Data Portal brings together data from the, the Commission, from our institutions, from agencies and bodies and I think we could very well show the, the, the potential with, with lies in those data. Another takeaway would be for all the European institutions because they're feeling inspired by what they're hearing. So for instance Eurostat, the Publications Office, the GRC or the European Commission they need to hear more of these stories because it's up to them also to push forward with more data being available, better data quality, better standards. 
was uh, very important because we had the opportunity to listen to great speeches and to understand uh, how are the barriers uh, uh, in order to make a sustainable business out of open data. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, uh, we had uh, the opportunity to find the real-time data and I think that uh, uh, you can build a sustainable, sustainable business only on uh, real-time data. Is that what we did as investment uh, in the recent years it's very, very good because now I can see how our data is useful because I saw a lot of different applications that have been built using our data. And now that the data, the whole data, is visible with the visualization tools, it's really, really amazing that our data is very, very powerful, it's very, very interesting, and it's a, a very good motivation for us because we should keep going. This data phone used a lot of data that are out there and people don't know what they mean. So we came here, there were uh, developers that they made use of this data and prepared something really exciting that is ready to be used by the citizens. So that's the great success of it. That we can learn a lot how we can improve our offer, or let's say enlarge our offer, and also demonstrate what added value we can provide with all the data which we have if we listen and if we are able to open in a proper way to potential reusers. It uh, has been a great opportunity for Estonia also to convey the, the message of uh, need of digitalization in Europe uh, because the digitalization matter and uh, digital Europe and the free movement of data has been a great priority for Estonian presidency. So we are really, really happy uh, to be part of this event. EU Datathon 2017 has clearly helped to show the potential of open data from the EU institutions, agencies and bodies. It has also demonstrated that there is scope for more connections and synergies to be established between the producers and reusers of data in the open data community. Organised by the Publications Office of the European Union, together with the Estonian Presidency of the Council of the European Union, EU Datathon 2017 is the first episode in a challenging and exciting story for the EU Open Data Portal, its data providers and its reusers. For more information about the EU Open Data Portal, go to data.europa.eu/eu_odp.